Hey what's up guys I am Syed Musa Kalim from Epicop and today I am going to be showing you about navigation in Ionic 2 so before we get started I would like to show you how we can navigate from one page to another page what are the basic things we need to include in our pages for the navigations that thing I want to show you before we get started firstly you need to import the navigation controller in your page that is the home page I in this case I am going to navigate from home to the contact page as you can see here I have home.ts file open here in my visual studio code editor and from this home.ts file I'm gonna navigate from the home.ts to the contact.html file from home page to contact page we are going to navigate so first we need to import the navigation controller right here in the home.ts file so let's get started so this way you can import the navigation controller navigation controller from from ionic angular put semicolon here this way you can import the navigation controller in your page as you can see here it is loading yeah it is loaded now we have successfully imported the navigation controller in our home page and now we are going to use this navigation controller and we are going to pass as a parameter in our constructor like this public nav control nav controller comma this way you can pass the navigation controller as a parameter in, inside your constructor of this page and you have assigned this navigation controller in this page so after assigning or after importing the navigation controller in home.ts file we'll jump to the home.html file and we'll create a button called we'll create a button called next as you can see here I have created button called next for the na for the navigation from home to contact page and I have given a method called next page when the user clicks this button this method will get called this method the next page method will be given here like this we are creating the next page method inside the home.ts file and inside this next page I'm gonna call this dot nav controller which is our controller navigation controller dot push there is one method called push in navigation controller using this method you can navigate from one page to another page basically there are two methods in the navigation controller they are push and pop if you want to navigate from one page to another page in a forward direction then you could use push method and if you want to get back to the first page the initial page then you could use the pop method now I am using the push method of navigation controller to navigate from home hist home file to the contact file home from home page to the contact page so inside this I'm gonna give the contact page I think this will not work because we have we haven't import our contact page inside the home page so for using or for navigating from home to contact we need to import the page we need to import the com contact page inside this home page contact page from contact slash contact you might be wondering why I am giving this dot dot slash contact slash contact 
actually actually this is the contact page which is present inside this folder inside the pages and inside this you can see here we have contact folder and inside this we have contact.html file which is our contact page so inside the contact folder we have contact file so this way you could import any page inside your inside your inside a page or inside another page so using this import statement I'm gonna push this inside the navigation controller and this will work so let's save this and let's save this also the button which we have created inside the home.html file and finally we are going to see what we have to do inside the app.module.ts file which is present right here as you can see here every page needs to be imported in app.module.ts file without this you cannot use or you cannot or you cannot navigate from one page to another page you need to import the page before navigating from one page to another page as you can see here our import our home page is already imported inside this app.module.ts file and now we have to import the com contact page as well which is our destination page from while giving the path you need to be very careful as you can see here inside the pages folder I have contact slash contact this way you can import the page inside app.module.ts but in the home.ts file we have imported with the different way you can see here import contact page from dot dot means the root directory and inside contact folder we have contact.html file this way you can import inside the page but in the app.module.ts file this is the root module of your ionic app so you need to import very carefully as you can see here we are we have imported this contact page we ha but we haven't used this page right here in the ng module de decorator you can see here every page which is imported here inside the app.module.ts file needs to be inject inside this ng model decorator as well and also we have to assign this page inside the entry components comma these two things are very important in app.module.ts after importing your page inside app.module.ts you need to assign it in the ng model decorator and also in the entry components array then only you can use that page throughout your ionic app so we have imported our page inside the root module of this ionic app and finally we are going to see the app.html which is the first file or the first or the root page you can say you can say the root page of this application which is app.html inside this app.html I have created ion list inside this ion list I have two ion items one for the home page and another for the contact page when this item gets clicked our go to home method will get called which is present right here in the app.component.ts as you can see here we have our two pages imported right here in the app.component.ts and also this is the view child our root page is set to home page means our index page you can say the root page means the index page of the app which is set to home page and these two methods are present inside the app.component.ts when this item gets click means the home item this method will get called that is go to home and our home page will be set to root will be set to the root page and when this item that is contact page gets click when the user clicks this item then the go to contact method will get called 
so this way you can use or you can navigate from one page to another page this is the way you can navigate from one page to another page we'll save this all things and we'll run in the browser to see it is working fine or not let's save this all files and let's hop to the folder which is ionic playground this is my folder ionic folder inside this i will write i will right click and i will select the git bash here and finally i'm gonna run this application using command called ionic surf you could also use ionic surf hyphen l which will be run on all three platforms which will run on ionic labs so i'm not i'm not gonna do that so i'm gonna run it on my browser using ionic surf command hit enter and we'll see the navigation from one page to other page hope you got this and this way you can navigate from one page to another page uh, while importing the pages you need to be very careful for the syntaxes and for the folder names as well it is compiling If you are a beginner then I would suggest you to visit this documentation the official website of Ionic that is ionicframework.com there you can get the docs and you can get started with Ionic yeah our application is running now on the browser yeah I am getting this issue settings unsaved we'll run it again we'll close this file yeah this is the official website for ionic and here are the docs ionic framework docs inside this you will get all components api and the native part as well storage theming ionic icons which will give you the beautiful uh, icons for your Ionic applications it is still running it might take some time to run so here are the CLI commands our application is running now I was showing you the CLI part our application is ready now you can see here I have a bunch of components present on this home page which is not the part of this video I'm gonna show you how we can navigate when we click this next button yeah we can see that we are going we are successfully navigated to the contact page from home page when we click this button we will get back to that home page can see here our navigation is working fine and inside this contact which I have a model part which is which is showing here and I have a list as well the states of India Andhra Pradesh you can see here all things so this way you can navigate from one page to another page hope you got this hope you like this video please share and subscribe my channel thanks for watching this video and see you again